Every day across Britain, thousands of people risk their health doing a job that nobody wants to do. In supermarket car parks, a workforce of mentally ill people goes out in rain or shine to ensure that we have trolleys to gather our food in. These are the heroes behind the scenes. These are the trolley pushers. Bernard is the longest serving trolley pusher in all of Britain. You know what, Jeremy? I tell you, Jeremy, you've come at an absolutely perfect day because this is Tuesday, right? And Tuesday is the best day to be pushing to, 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 to trolleys. Because uh, see, Monday, Monday you're recovering from the weekend and the weekend can be a bit difficult, you know, because there's no one here on Saturday and Sunday so the car park gets really messy. So that's what Monday's all about. Wednesday it's not too bad day, Thursday it's pension day, so that's not good. You've got all the old grannies there and lots of trolleys everywhere and Friday you're getting ready for the weekend again. But today's Tuesday, so you come on, the, come, on the, come on an absolutely perfect day, Jeremy, I'll tell you. I tell you what, Jeremy. Uh, just this morning, uh, my manager had asked me to put this here because we got a very special short, short visitor um, coming to the supermarket uh, today. It's actually the mayor of this home county. Um, he's been here quite a few times, uh, the mayor, uh, and he always has his private parking space um, and I always put it here for him. I've actually uh, given him his trolley quite a few times as well. I'm actually quite a good talking to him, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's quite nice that when he comes here he just gets his own space um, and here it is. I tell you what Jeremy, I've been doing this job for about 28 years now. I've been pushing the trolleys. Uh, I've done it through rain, shine, snow, in, in the winter of uh, 95, I actually did it to snow up to my nose. Yeah, I had to push through the snow. I ain't kidding you, Jeremy. I ain't k k k k k k kidding you, Jeremy. Um, yeah, and now they've actually made me team leader. Uh, and actually, I'm the management of the whole car park. How many people work in a car park? Well, it's two of us. Yeah, it's me and this other boy, but I'm the manager of him, yeah. He's a young boy, uh, he actually, uh, he's only uh, 17 and he actually got uh, his girlfriend pregnant uh, and he had to take this job to get some money. Um, but I don't really talk to him about that because uh, I don't agree with uh, sex. Don't agree with it, Jeremy. <laughs> Sometimes we get a bit of trouble uh, from people, Jeremy. Uh, people don't do nice things. Uh, so basically we've got this security guard here and uh, sometimes he has to come out and watch over me uh, if something goes wrong. Uh, I'm just going to go and talk to him now, Jeremy, uh, because, you know what I mean? As our cameras pack away for the day, we hear word of an emergency that has just broken out. I can't really stop Jeremy, you're going to have to walk with me. Uh, basically, we've just heard from the main office on the talkie walkie uh, that actually there's a problem downstairs because there's no trolley downstairs. Mind the cars, Jeremy, mind the cars. Uh, so, so basically what we're doing is we're going downstairs to make sure that there's trolleys there because of course if there ain't trolleys there, then the people who come to this uh, car park uh, won't actually have trolleys and the management won't be happy. And I'm not doing my job properly, Jeremy, you know what I mean? I don't want to be doing my job. But basically, that would be really bad because then well, the fan will be covered in shit, Jeremy, you know what I mean? Let's go and down that straight away. Next time you do your shopping in a mega supermarket, spare a thought for the people who make it possible. They are the unsung heroes. They are the trolley pushers. I tell you what, uh, Jeremy, uh, it was actually uh, 10 years ago uh, that it was my idea uh, to get these trolley huts uh, because there was always a problem uh, because the trolleys kept getting wet uh, and so basically we just got this hut and it's really really handy uh, you see be careful mind yourself because there's a car coming around uh, that's the trouble you see Jeremy that's the trouble when you're in the car park there's always flies coming it's dangerous work this it really is uh, and yeah so the hut yeah they actually called it a Bernard hut you see that's like an inside gag that we like to call it Changed me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really, uh, I really like. I'm quite proud of them. 
careful, there's another car coming, Jeremy. Like we get well over to you, Jeremy. Eh? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, this is the best job I've ever gone. <sighs> Chant. 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 There's a trolley here that someone's left, Jeremy. It just pisses me off, you know what I mean? There's no portrait, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs>